Well, for week four of the Every Big Counts Challenge, canning season has fully hit. Week four of the Every Bit Counts Challenge is still focusing on tomatoes. The tomatoes are pumping, pumping, pumping. Uh, as you saw that video, we did salvage some corn. I got to figure out what to do with that. And also, the apples are starting. I grabbed these before the sheep could eat them. They were gorgeous apples off of a really, really nice tree. So I'm going to make a little apple crisp with this tonight. Nothing from a canning perspective, but still fantastic uh, that they're starting, even if it is early and competing with tomatoes. So I'm trying to work with a plan this week. I have to still work on emptying the freezer because we have so much more to go in the freezer. So I'm doing some more broth, which I will take you through and give you the recipe on that. Uh, we are making... Um, pizza sauce that's coming up actually today and uh, there will be a video separate on that with the recipe and the whole how-to because this is one of my favorite favorite recipes to do uh, we're going to be making some more juice because it's a great way to store all those tomatoes that you just saw and who knows what else we're going to get up to as always dehydrating 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 I'm not doing a very good job at filling my jars um, but yeah We'll see what else we can do this week. Maybe some stews or something like that. I do want to do a charred salsa, but uh, it just depends on the weather because you got to stand out of the barbecue for like two hours. So, <laughs> but anyways, let's get started and uh, see what we can get done this week. All right, so we're going to start off this week making some lamb broth. You're going to uh, basically take your bones out, get them in the oven and roast them at 375 for probably about 40 minutes. Just watch them because you don't really want them to be burnt. This is, uh, as you know, I like to work in big batches. <laughs> so this is going to be going into my 13 liter pot. So we've got our uh, four pounds of lamb bones roasted. You want to make sure you even put the grease in there. All that flavor will get, uh, you know, into your broth and then you can skim off the top before you can it with all the grease. You're going to need rosemary, thyme, garlic, celery, carrots, onions, and salt. So we're going to uh, get started with this. Uh, I will write a single batch recipe in the description for you. Uh, and then that way you can try and make this yourself. All right, so we got all the veggies chopped up and the next step was to put them in the pot with a bit of olive oil and just saute them a little bit so that they softened. Then we threw in the garlic and the herbs and we're going to fill the pot with water and then we're going to let this boil and then simmer for about eight hours before we can it. Uh, the main thing to remember is to keep adding water to this. I mean we should we should still end up with the eight liters at the end of this so I want to keep the pot full uh, so every couple hours I will check it and add what I need to keep it up there. But after eight hours of simmering it'll be evening we're going to then strain it put this in the fridge and we will can it up in the pressure canner tomorrow morning. And here we go with another round of pizza sauce here in week four of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. We are approaching, well, I guess almost three quarters now of the way through the week. And we've been pumping it out. And we'll give you an update here shortly. But today we are working on pizza sauce again. So you can see there last night, quite late, we managed to get the rest of our pizza sauce water bath canned. We did have an interesting little thing because we lost power right in the middle of canning. But anyways, that's the way life goes. So 12 jars of pizza sauce put away last night. And today we are finishing off the broth. Like I said, we've let it sit so that the oil or fat or grease all comes to the top. So what we have here is our pressure canner with 3 liters of water. And that's what we need to get going on this uh, lamb broth. So the first thing we're going to do is skim off as much of that fat as we can. Uh, the nice thing about pressure canning is this can go into our jars at the temperature it is and you just have to pressure can it. So today for the Every Bit Counts Challenge, we are tackling that jar of basil that I talked about in the earlier video. We haven't been doing a very good job at getting that filled up so Today is the day I picked a whole bunch of basil, which is also nice because it was starting to go to seed and we didn't want it all to go to seed. So that will just help it grow a bit more. 
But we're going to get this washed and into the dehydrators and hopefully make a good dent in filling that uh, bucket. You can see here it's a pretty decent sized uh, colander. So uh, fingers crossed this will start to get that one liter jar of dried herbs filled up. Well, once again, we're working late into the night on week four, coming to the end of week four, actually, but we are, again, hard at it making our yellow tomato juice because this is something that we want to have at least 52 jars put away for uh, the next year. Hopefully more. Hopefully more, but we want at least 52, so we're working hard. And this is made with a mixture of pineapple tomatoes, which are kind of the... More orangey colored ones. Those guys. And uh, They're beautiful. Look at when you slice them. They're gorgeous slicers. And they have like a... And they taste pretty good to slice pinkish tomatoes tint too. To them. And then the uh, more yellowish colored ones are white Thomasol tomatoes. And the two make a really good uh, mixed juice that uh, we really enjoy. Some say it doesn't taste like tomato juice at all. Not really. It tastes a little bit more like... Uh, you know, fruit juice, which technically it is because to technically tomatoes are fruit. Well, we are approaching 1030 at night and we have all the pineapple and white Thomasol tomatoes milled. Uh, in total, just those two kinds was 47 pounds. So we've milled them all and we've got them in our pots here and I'm anticipating this is going to make roughly 17 liters or quarts of tomato juice. So all our ingredients are in except for the lemon juice. We're just waiting for this to boil, but I'll tell you, this is a lot of tomato juice. Well, it's 20 after 11 at night and uh, we are done. We've got 16 jars of this uh, yellow tomato juice made and while we were at that, we uh, also got three racks of yellow pear-shaped tomatoes dehydrating. So, all in all, not bad. And we're finishing off week four with prep again. We are going to be making marinara sauce for week five, or in week five of August. And so, what we're doing right now is the usual, freezing these up so that we can get the skins off and run them through the food mill for making marinara. So, that's what's on the agenda at the moment. So one thing uh, I think about this challenge that's really interesting, when you actually start videoing things week by week, when you grow a lot of food, you realize how repetitive some of it is. I.e., there's been a lot of tomato prep, a lot of tomato juice, a lot of tomato product, and uh, even on the drying and whatnot and the freezing, it's been a lot of the same stuff done in little batches because the reality of it is, it's very difficult, unless you have an exorbitant number of tomatoes or plants, etc., to actually be able to process a year's worth or what you would use over the winter months worth of uh, product from these. So you end up doing it in little batches, which really is exactly what the, the uh, every bit challenge is kind of all about. Because every little bit does add up. So as we end week four, Boy, it feels like we're making some progress. There's a lot going into the pantry, or well, it's not really going into the pantry this time because what I did is I kept it all on the table to show you at the end of the week just what we got done. So let's take a look. So we ended up with 26 jars of pizza sauce, which is fantastic. That's basically a pizza every two weeks for the year, which is just about what we need. We did quite a bit of lamb broth. We still have more to go, but we're on to uh, 14 jars of that. We've got some red tomato juice just to uh, kind of preserve it so that we could use it in some soups or something later because not everybody in the family loves to drink red tomato juice. But as you can see at the end here, we've got tons of yellow tomato juice uh, ready to go. I think, what, what did we say? We're up to 29 jars of yellow tomato juice this year. We like to have 52, so we've got one every week. So we'll see if we make it. Not going to happen by the end of the challenge, but stay tuned throughout uh, the fall to see where we get to with that. And I think last but not least for the week is our herbs. And no, we still didn't do very good on this, so I don't think I'm going to fill these jars by the end of the challenge, unfortunately. But parsley, still the same, not quite half. Basil, we dehydrated another bunch, and I've got another bunch in the dehydrator as we speak, so we might make some progress. Oregano, very little change. The paprika peppers are coming along. 
Uh, I don't know how much paprika we're actually going to get this year, but uh, we'll see. The one thing we are super impressed with is the number of yellow pear tomatoes that we've gotten dehydrated. And we have probably enough in the dehydrator to fill the rest of this jar already. So we might be at the point where we're going to call it quits on that because, hey, that's twice the size of a jar that I thought I was going to get. So uh, these are great for pizzas and you can even throw them into stir fries and things like that. But uh, mostly we use them for pizza or just pop it in your mouth because they kind of taste like candy. But, as you can see, it's been a busy week, and to be honest, week five is shaping up to be even busier. Even though it's only got four days left in August, uh, we're still going to follow through with a week five and show you just what we get up to.